Alright, Josh here, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon BGC 2019 Basketball Live series. Today, we are swapping to a brand new team. We've got the Xerneas and Ultra Necrozma core with the Mega Gengar and the classic Finny Amoongus Incineroar support mode. And yes, I'm looking forward to it. Let's just jump straight into it. I did do a little team analysis, team overview um, thing before this. Should have gone up like an hour ago. If you want to know more about this team, go check out that. It's got the paste, it's got what it does, etc, etc. So, yeah, let's uh, let's see how this gets on. Hopefully not too bad. I, I'm, I'm happy to be using, um, playing against Rari. Uh, I'm happy to be using Ultimate Cosmo again. We've only used it once and it was on like a bit of a weird team. So this is like kind of more of a standard team-ish. Yeah, it is kind of standard-ish, I guess. Um, okay, we've got Groudon. Ooh, this... Uh, got the, um, um, the Scrafty, actually. That's... Uh, that's interesting. <clears throat> Stack attacker is a bit of a pain. I'm not gonna lie. I don't feel too bad, like going, like Gengar Necrozma. To be honest, Gengar Necrozma. Gengar Necrozma. Do I do I want to do that? I could do that. Okay, let's go that one. Do I want to go that? I could see Scrafty coming for sure. I need, I definitely need Necrozma Vice. I pretty much don't beat <laughs> the Stack Attacker. Um, I, I, do I want, yeah, I, I need Xerneas as well. I, I want Finny, but like Incineroar could be really important. Like Fake Out could be just so nice. I'm a little, this, this is a little bit weak to grow out on though. I'm going to go Incineroar still. Do we want to do this? Where's the Z move gonna be? Oh yeah, I'm the Necrozma. Yeah. It's gonna be a little bit hard to set up Xerneas, but if I try and kind of get rid of the the anti geomancy things early, we might be okay. Scrafty's a bit of a. Mm. I mean, I know I just deck it with Xerneas. Actually, Scrafty could be quite good. Like now, I'm thinking of ways to use Scrafty. Expect Scrafty on the channel at some point in the future. Scrafty could be, could be good. Okay, Salmon's Tappy Finny. I actually don't mind this. Um, I am a little bit worried about, like, my opponent has, like, a really, like, kind of safe-ish play of going for Tailwind and Icy Wind. Because, like, say I KO Salmon's, they get the, they get the Icy Wind off. I'm gonna try and get rid of the Finny just because I think it might have it could have haze. Um, so we're gonna Mega Evolve. We're gonna Ultra Burst. We're just gonna just deck the Finny. And they've got the shiny Finny as well. So that's one of the Japanese ones. Wait, look, wait, let me see it. Let me see how I've not I've not seen it in game yet. I need to see this again. Oh, that's beautiful. That is actually beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> I can't wait to use one! I can't wait to use one. I'm definitely, definitely um Grinding, one, grinding the one I get to level 100 just to use it, like, it looks so good. Okay, Mega Salmons comes out, not a, not exactly a shock there, to be honest. I think we see Tailwind Ice, I mean, like, it's a really safe play for my opponent. It makes a lot of sense. Ultra Burst. Oh, that greenness. Now, we, sh we shouldn't proc a Berry on Finny, and we should get it with Photon Geyser. That's, like, one thing out of the way. Yeah, my opponent's probably going for Tailwind, but, and they'll get Groudon in this turn. That was a crit, right? Oh no! Oh dear, that didn't go well. That did way too much damage. That did like way too much damage. Are people now running the finnies with less special attack so it procs the berry? A counter to the counter? Oh god, it's just going for double edge. And there goes Mega Gengar. Oh, right, I didn't really expect that to be honest guys, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, um, I didn't expect that. And it's a Moonblast. Oh, okay, well at least it's not an Icy Wind, I actually prefer that. Oh, what a way to start the episode. What a way to start the episode. Okay, great start. Great start. Oh, that wasn't the best. That was not the best. <laughs> I mean, what? Oh, God. Oh, God. I just lose now. <laughs> that, did not, that did not go well. I mean... 
I mean, that, I've got so much special defense. I've got a lot of special defense in Necrozma, like that 100% mad. Like, I can live a Shadow Wolf for max attack, max special attack Mega Gengar. I'm pretty sure Finny, Moonblast from Finny would not have killed me. So that's bad, because now I just lose to Stack Attacker. Uh, oh, God. Um, do I even bother Geomancy? No. Maybe a stack doesn't do as much damage to me. Ugh, that was so bad. That was really bad. No protects, actually. I mean, I'm just going to get a double KO here, which is kind of nice, but it's going to be like Groudon stack attacker in the back, and I just, I literally can't beat that. Not with, not without Necrozma. I mean, I get a crit there, but I, I'm, I'm not sure that really mad. Yes, that turn did not go correct click. Unless you didn't bring the stack attacker, but I, I don't think there's a reason not to. Groudon stack. Groudon stack. Show me Groudon and stack. There's Groudon. Show me the stack. Show me the stack attack. Ah, the stack attacker. Shock horror. Dun 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 dun. I mean, yeah, I literally just lose now. I'm super surprised that Sludge Bomb proper berry. That's that that Finny. It wasn't a crit, was it? I'm super surprised that did. He usually doesn't. That's that's a shame. That was like the best, the one of the best thing, my favorite things about this team that it didn't do that. I mean, I guess I go for a flip. Like Groudon could protect you. I go for Trick Room, so I guess I just double the stack. Hope for like a crit, crit. I, I think that's literally my only. Oh, that just got nothing. Miss. <sighs> oh, of course not. I do actually survive with Incineroar. That's interesting. Maybe that's mixed. I mean, okay. Well, if Flare Blitz crits, then we, we might we might be all right. Go on. I don't even think a crit will do it. Crit, crit. Ah, oh, that's not a crit. And we just lose. Terrible. Bye bye, Zenis. And that's the game. Well, that was an extremely fast um, offense game, wasn't it? That did not go correctly. Oh, man, I just can't believe it. Oh, the crit on flipping Necrozma, that was so bad. I mean, wait. I'm going to forfeit, but I'm going to calc it. I hope this isn't ruining the screen or anything. It shouldn't be. No. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quickly calc that. I have to know. I have to know. We know it wasn't choice specs or anything silly like that. It was just normal. So I have 180 in special defense on the Crosma. Let's go to Tapu Finny. Default set. So even if it's 252. <laughs> even if it's 252. Uh, even if it's 252 special attack, modest. It does 72 to 86, so that crit definitely, definitely, uh, <laughs> definitely mattered. And I needed, I so needed Necrozma to beat the two in the back. It's a shame that I, I really didn't expect, um, I didn't expect Slipperon to proc the berry. That's really odd. Like, it's, they're usually a lot bulkier than that. <laughs> Maybe like a like going less bulky on Finny to counter the fact that Gengar's running less to proc the berry. That's a good play. I'm, I I honestly thought we'd see like a tail, Tailwind Icy Wind, but I'm just getting rid of the Mega Gengar um, straight away, and then obviously losing losing the Crossman was just bad. I, I like as soon as the Crossman went down, that was just game because I just don't I can't I couldn't beat the the stack then. I mean we did a decent chunk of damage to it, but when it's paired with a Groudon, I'm just, I'm surprised Incineroar survived the Precipice Blades as well because um, it's not like it was intimidated either. Um, so interesting. Anyway, we're playing Azul from Spain, Catalonia. That's a Mega Steelix! That's the best thing I've ever seen! That's so good! I actually can't believe the running map. That's actually amazing. Like, that's incredible. Okay, uh, this is actually a bit tricky. Um, Zapdos. It's gonna have raw. We can certainly expect that. Amoongus isn't a bad lead. Like Amoongus Xerneas feels fairly safe. 
Um, I definitely need to bring Incineroar to this. I'm moving Cernius. Um, Incineroar, we definitely want. Do we want Tapu Fini or do we want. Do we want Gengar? Or do I need. I might actually need. Do I need Necrozma for the, just in case they bring the Steelix? I so want them to bring the Steelix. I mean, there's no. There's no trick room on this, at least. Um. <clears throat> I don't want Gengar just to help against the opposing Cernius. It's tough. It's tough to say. What do you reckon, guys? Gengar or? I mean, I'm not too. I I I think Gengar might be might be slightly better. I'm gonna go for Gengar. Please, bring Mega Steelix. They've also got Mega Steelix and Mega Rayquaza. Interesting. Please bring, this, please bring the Steelix. Please! I just want to see it! I mean, Mega Steelix is like, obviously, Jarrow Ball is going to obliterate me. <laughs> I, I need to see this. I need to see the Steelix. It's the Steel! I can't believe they brought They've actually brought That's actually. That's fantastic. Like, credit. Every credit. Such a bit of a mind game here. Like, if they. I mean. I can just protect and spoil the Steelix. It's like, it's that's pretty much that's pretty safe because, um, like, I know I can live a Flare Blitz. How slow is Steelix? Though is it slower than Amoongus? How slow is Steelix? I, I actually don't know its speed. I feel like it's super slow, like slower than the Moongus. Is it slower than Amoongus though? I'm gonna try and spoil the Steelix. You could see Tapu Fini switching, but that's not the end of the world. This. this is the best! I don't care if I win or lose this one, I'm just, I'm just happy to see that, that thing out and about. That's so good. Every credit for winning that, though, like, seriously. Great. Fantastic. On to Amoongus? Yeah, okay, that's that's fine. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Flyblaze might take me out, though, now. Hmm. Like, do I... Flare Blitz takes me out. Oh, that's gonna be bad. Will Flare Blitz take me out? If I get an Intimidate down? That's a, this is actually a bit awkward. Well, bring in Sonora. I'm gonna try and spore again. Like, if, if Amoongus goes down, I get a free switch into Xerneas and then I get a fake out plus Geomancy. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have gone for that. Maybe I should. Oh, no, I, I, I mean, yeah. Maybe I should have switched into an in there rather than. Yep. Yeah, I kind of expected this. This might take me out. No, it doesn't. That's great. That's so good. I need to take a lot of recall. That's great. Yep. That's just absolutely nothing. And I get the spore into the. Um... Oh, okay. Great. Okay, that's really good for us. Okay, now I bring Xerneas back in. For instant or all. Actually, I could U turn. Should I U turn and just chip the instant or even more? Yeah, let's do that. Um, do I want to lose Moongus? No, not really. Uh, do I want to U turn? Yeah, okay, let's do this. Oh, brings takes the Steelix out actually. Into the ray. Okay, that's actually fine because I, I'll, if I'll, okay, because I keep Amoongus alive, right? And then I U turn out and I get Amoongus back in for redirection. Although I'm a little bit worried about the roar. We know the. That's a, that's a more than a nice bit of chip to be honest. I'll bring Amoongus back in for that slot. What health regenerated? Beautiful! Fair play. I respect that. I think they might have Tapu Fini. If I see the other one. What this Rayquaza is, Choice Band? 
Assault Vest? Focus Sash? What is it? Xerneas comes in. Okay. Well, I mean... <clears throat> we know what happens here. Bye bye, Amoongus. Geomancy, Geomancy. Rage Powder. Geomancy. <clears throat> I do have Mega Gengar, though, which gives me a little bit of an advantage in some sort of way. I mean, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna, oh, you can't Mega Evolve your Raid Quasar. I just realised because you've Mega Evolved Steelix. Actually, that's that's kind of good for us because I mean, it's just not as strong anymore. I mean, it's still strong. Don't get me wrong, Dragonus, and it's still gonna obliterate everything in the world. But yep, like that. I mean, this bye bye. I mean, just did its job though. It definitely did its job. Um, okay, probably Max Speed Geomancy. Uh, Max Speed Geomancy. Max Speed Turnius there. What do we reckon about this Rayquaza, guys? Do you reckon Focus Sash or... Hmm... Focus Sash? Focus Sash or is it... Is it Focus Sash or is it... I don't know, I don't know what it could be. It could be it, it could be it. Like, I'm just thinking if it's, if it's Focus Sash... That could be problematic. Like, because I'm thinking of bringing Zenora and faking out the opposing Xerneas. But I feel like I also need to pressure the Xerneas a little bit. But I need, I need, I can't just leave the Ray alone either. In case it's Focus Ash. I mean, because like, let's look at my opponent's team a second. Like, it might not be Focus Ash, but I mean, it's not going to be Focus Ash, Zapdos, Incineroar, or Finny, is it? I mean, it could be Focus Sash and Sinner, but you, you, know, you know what I mean, it, it's highly unlikely. I'm just going to... Mm. Do I want a Sludge Bomb? Yeah, just in case the Sinner comes in. I'll just Dazzle. You might protect Xerneas here. I'm just making sure we get rid of this Great Quasar, because it, it, even though it's not Mega, it's, you know, Dragon Ascent still does a lot if it's Focus Sash. Okay, I think it is Focus Ash, just because of that, basically. This is gonna hurt. It's into Gengar, actually. Interesting. <clears throat> I mean, if this isn't Focus Ash Ray... Oh, then we're gonna get a Sludge Ball off. I mean, if that was Assault Vest, maybe that... Nah, it probably didn't matter, to be honest. Well, this is gonna do a decent amount of damage. Poison? Poison? <sighs> oh. We tried. Okay, my opponent probably brings in Incineroar here. Or Steelix. I'd imagine Incineroar. Okay, it is Incineroar. That should be in Dazzling Gleam range, really. Really, really, it should be. I mean, do I try and get an attack off with Mega Gengar? I'm gonna go down either way. Right, no, I'm, I'm gonna save Mega Gengar. Mm. Maybe I need Mega Gengar later. I'm gonna bring in Incineroar. I mean, you fake out Xerneas. Fake out Xerneas and just dazzle, I guess. Or Boom Blast. Xerneas used. Protect. Cinero used fake out. And Boom Blast. Oh, just dazzle. Okay, that should prop my berry. Should is the key word. That does not proc my berry. Fantastic. Um, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Do I fake out or should I just switch out? I could just switch out. I think Xenius would protect here. I'm just going to switch out. I'm going to save that Intimidate, guys. I'm going to Moonblast into all. Like, if you're my opponent, Xenius, you, you have to protect here. Like, it, 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 like, you just throw your Xenius away if you don't. Okay, well, I can't say I really s expected that, but fair enough. Yeah, okay, well, that's correct. We called that right, at least. At least he can't switch. Oh my god, that does so much damage. A lot more than I was expecting. Um, I mean, my opponent dazzles here, and it probably picks up Gengar. I, 
I'm just gonna protect and, and dazzle. Like, Moon Blast shouldn't get me unless he crits, so it should be okay. Like, just going, like, that, that did so much. Like, I, I, sh I should just have this. Steal it. Go, goes for the protect. Yep. That's into my Xerneas. No crit. Don't crit, don't crit, don't crit. Oh, thank God. Okay, we can relax now. And that's, yeah, I think that's pretty much game. I can bring in, uh, I can just protect Xerneas, bring in my, um, I just protect Xerneas. I might as well just KO the, um, the, um, Steelix actually at this point. I can just, uh, Shadow Ball it. And yeah, I don't think there's anything my opponent can do right now. But well, good game. That Steelix was actually really scary. Shadow Ball Steelix and just protect. <sighs> Steelix was pretty scary. Worst case scenario, Raw? But I think even that. Getting that Spore off was just so handy. Like, like that was a bit of an awkward position at the beginning, I think, for me. Like, when I had to swap Xerneas out for Incineroar and, like, let Amoongus take a... Let Amoongus take a, a, a Flare Boost. That's not really ideal. Okay, we can just fake out Moonblast for the game, though. But yeah, good game. That was a, that was a good one. Definitely a scary team. I guess Steelix there. <laughs> what a mob. Put my eyes so itchy. Okay. Might just might just see a forfeit here to be honest. That should seal it. Just playing it out, why not? And there should be plenty. Yeah. Just pre oh, I really like playing Protector Deer. Gengar was kind of good though, actually. Just like not allowing my opponent to switch on some important turns. Calling the um, Xerneas Protect as well when we switched Incineroar out rather than faking out was super nice as well. Because um, then we kept that Intimidate pressure in the back just in case. Um, it was just nice having Gengar and Incineroar, like that slot available to switch as well. That was just nice to, uh, in the end game. So yeah, that, that was all right. Better, better, better than the first game, anyway. <laughs> that first game was just so quick. It was like a double KO, then a double KO. It was just crazy fast. Poor Necrozma. Necrozma came on screen one time and <laughs> got crit. Just goes straight down. It's like, how unfortunate. It's so funny. Sometimes I feel like when you put more bulk into a Pokemon, right, it's more likely to get crit. I remember in VGC17, I had this, um, I had this team with Gudron. And it was like a salt vest Gudra, and it was super bulky, and it was it just used to tank attacks. But the, I swear to God, like every other game, it got crit. It, it was it was getting crit constantly. I've never seen a mon get crit so many times. It was crit because it was. I think it's because it's down down to the bulk. I swear, it was weird. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, jump into the game three. Okay, had to reset there, but I did find someone super quick after I did, and we got seventeen sixty something opponent. We're running the classic. Xerneas Groudon team with the Mega Salmons and the same support core as me, just placed in a different order around the field. I don't know why Amoongus feels right in that bottom right hand corner. Like he feels like offense first, support last. There's like an order you go in. Um, yeah, but anyway, what the hell am I saying? Uh, what can I lead against this? I feel like. Hmm. <sighs> I don't want Salmon to lead. Necrozma Gengar might not be awful. But it also might be at the same time. Hmm. Um. It's going to be Z move um, in Cinero as well, so I do have to be a bit wary of that. I could go Gengar in Xerneas. Gengar Xerneas? Does that make sense? No, not really. Do I want Tapu Fini? Yes, probably. Gengar Xerneas? Threaten a little bit. Tapu Fini? Yep. Incineroar? Yep. Are we going that? Is that where we're going? That seems a bit weird. How am I going to beat Groudon? Oh, God. Uh, yes, how am I going to beat Groudon? I don't know, but we'll decide. We'll play it out, and we'll just wing it, and we'll see what happens. 
I have not, you know, this is like, I haven't had time to think of game plans for these teams. I'm just kind of going, going with it. This is, this is like testing the team, I guess. This, this could be a bit problem. You don't really see this team much anymore. I've, I've not seen it for ages and like, now I run into it, yay. I guess it is still good. Let's just try this. I just want a bit of Xerneas pressure, that's all. Oh yeah, the classic. I mean, this isn't too bad because I do, I do pressure the Xerneas, you know what I mean? Like, Incineroar either fakes out my Xerneas or just goes for the Z-move straight onto Gengar. Um, and if it does go for Z-move straight onto Gengar and Xerneas protects, I get the Geomancy. Some... I suppose I can safely, like, fairly safely, I mean, like, Sludge Bomb and Geomancy. Does that make sense? What's the worst case now? If I get faked out, if I get Z moved, if Xerneas and Sinor just both... Yeah, it's fine. That's why I let Gengar, because it pressures the Zern. You might fake, you might fake out. Or you might just Snarl. But even if you, like, Snarl... It's not the end of the world. Because then... Hmm. Actually, double snarl would be not, not be ideal. You might expect me not to, to play a bit safe with Gengar, because like the, the protect on Zern is obvious. They don't protect. Look at that! Damage! That was great damage. That's so good. I, I, the worst case scenario here is raw, um, but I honestly think you probably snarl or Z move. Like I really think you'd snarl or Z move. That was great, Gengar. Well done. I mean, the protect on there, Azunius, was like so obvious that they didn't go for it. I think we're gonna see a Z move or a snarl. Like one of those two, or a raw. Raw is hundred percent the worst case scenario here, and even if it is raw. Isn't it's not the end of the world, basically. I mean, it's not great, but it's not the end of the world. And we are seeing the Zemu, so bye bye Gengar. But we do get our Incineroar in now, uh, which is quite nice. Incineroar unleashed its Z move. I still don't like, really like this Zemu. I d like, people keep running it. I, I don't think it's bad. But like, I feel like it's like one of those where you like chuck it on because it's there. Like, I still like Berry and Sinnoh all over it. Although thinking back, when I did try it, I did actually really like it. <laughs> I always seem to just like think it's bad and like throw it away in my head. But I, I quite like it. Um, I mean, I could. Do I Tapu Finny here or do I Incineroar here? I could Tapu Finny. I could bring Tapu Finny in. Like, what, Heal Pulse, Dazzle? Icy Wind? Oh, Incineroar might um, U-turn. What? Should I bring Infinity or Incineroar? I'm gonna bring Infinity. I, I'm just thinking, like, if my opponent, like, if I bring in Incineroar... Sorry, I just got a long tap. Um, I'm just going to Dazzle and Heal Pulse. We KO Xerneas. Xerneas probably get some last minute damage off. Incineroar he probably U-turns out. I don't think he'll have Raw. I, I've not seen Raw Incineroar for ages. Yep, Dazzle. Not too surprised there. I will go back to full. Bye bye Xerneas. Half of, look, that's more than half of Incineroar. I could have got rid of it. I couldn't let Xerneas sit there though. I had to get rid of it that turn. We should see a U-turn. Or a Snarl. U-turn will be better, I think, though. It does have Raw! Oh, you're joking! Oh, why is that still a thing? Okay, I can't say I expect. Well, I did mention it, but how often do you really see it anymore? That is super unfortunate. I mean, at least if. Ah, oh, yeah, I'm not sure I can. That 
That's not great. I'm not gonna lie, that is not great. Yeah, Groudon's gonna absolutely destroy me now, I think. That's not great. I have to fake out, kind of switch back into Xerneas, I guess. I could read that, though. Flare Blitz my Tapu Fini. That's this is bad. This is not good. A special Groudon? God damn, I hate I hate Raw so much. We've got, I'm kind of forced to fake out Groudon, sadly. Like, I'm just thinking, like, a swords dance would be the death of me, wouldn't it? Okay. Fair. Flare Blitz into Xerneas. Oh, that's shooting. So how can I snarl? Oh no wait. It's not got flare blitz. It's got darkest lava, hasn't it? Did we see fake out? I can't remember. Did we see fake out? We know it's got U-turn raw darkest lava. Yet. So see, wow. Well. Oh, that's not good. I mean, I have to. I have to kind of. How many turns of Misty... Okay, there's three turns of Misty Terrain. I'm scared of this being special as well. Ugh, I'm just going to dazzle. Nope, that's not sensible. But what if it's, so if it's Swords Dances? Oh, God. This happens time and time again, where I get roared and it just completely throws me off. It really throws me. Yep, there's Rage Powder. Swords Dance is the worst case scenario by a mile. It's just Prespers. It does connect both. This is gonna hurt. Maybe I should have protected there though, but I couldn't risk the Swords Dance, honestly. That obviously that don't think that matters. Um you can just bring him in center at any point though, that's the, that's the issue. I can't beat this crowd up. No. I mean, I could expect the ground and protect and just double Amoongus. I don't think that really gets me anywhere. I'm gonna do it anyway. I think it's. I'm pretty sure it's over, guys. I'm, I do. I, I really can't be proud on. What do I know? What do I know? And this sword dance. Oh, for God's sake! Yeah. Okay. And that's why they're mid 1700s, and I'm mid 1600s. Oh, damn. I mean. I don't think they had anything to lose by going for that, to be honest. Sorry, my headset. I'm s I'm honestly sick of it now. I cannot wait to get back to the UK and we can set up the other mic, the new mic. It's a million times better. Yeah, I mean, I mean you know, Groudon can miss every single Prespice Blades on the Earth. You know, that's what we. I think that's what we need right now. There you go, guys. Protect Amoongus. Who saw that coming? And you just go for five points, that's super sensible. I I had to hope for some sort of throw there, I think, but yeah, you're not gonna bother. No need to throw. Oh damn. I mean, oh, I raw. It's just raw, isn't it? Uh, I mean maybe I should have brought a crossbow? Maybe I should have run a Quasma over Gengar? But I don't know, Gengar did some decent work at the beginning, like... Took that chunk out of Xerneas. We were, we were kind of in a good position and then Raw happens. It, it's happened before, hasn't it? We're in a good position that Raw happens and then it completely throws it out of whack. So... Yes, we will go ahead and forfeit this one. GG. And... Yes! 
that will be it for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. Take it easy, guys, and I'll see you all in a bit.